Hi Taurus, check your Venus already have Taurus in your astrological chart. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. This is for Taurus. First portion of this reading will be for Tauruses that have husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, and fiancés. Second portion will be for Tauruses that are single. Today I'm modeling with Carte Posh. Their website link and discount codes in the description box down below. All right, what is the future for Tauruses? Oh my goodness. You had cards that flew out. Okay, you have yes. The future for Tauruses that have husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, and fiancés. You have talking to multiple women, play a player, new pussies, okay. Future for Tauruses, their husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, and fiancés. <clears throat> Future for Taurus, and you have starting over. So it says almost all things will work again if you don't plug them for five minutes, even you loading so i think you're exhausted i don't know what taurus and i'm a libra okay so they can have a venus and libra or yeah <clears throat> or they may have taurus and their venus okay or you may okay all right So if you're in a relationship, someone is talking to multiple women, okay? Um, being a player, all right? <clears throat> How does Taurus feel about their significant other? You feel like they're the Knight of Swords in reverse, okay? You feel like Seven of Pentacles, Taurus and Saturn, um there's been money invested with this person time energy also you feel like you've known them for a long time maybe seven years potentially um with the knight of swords you feel like they're a pathological liar or serial cheater they don't tell the truth or you feel like your significant other maybe has a speech impediment or is very upset, does illegal activity to make money. Um, Nine of Swords in Reverse is also the energy of mental illness. You feel like your significant other has mental illness. Okay. You feel like they're manipulative for, for a lot of you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you feel like they could be like a, a soldier. Maybe they work with relationships or money or military. This can be the government, police officer, teacher, counselor. Right. How does your significant other feel? Oh my goodness. How does your significant other? <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, your significant other feels like you are the tower, Aries, Scorpio, like they're finding out something really shocking about you. Okay. They feel like you've been unfaithful for a lot of you. Your significant other feels like you guys are falling um, out of the relationship, like it's a, a messy breakup, like it's sudden too, it wasn't planned. Knight of Swords, like you're just leaving and no longer investing. Okay, many of you are leaving behind a Libra, a Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus. Yes. And yeah, I see that. Yes. <clears throat> or a Sagittarius or a Pisces. You're leaving them. The Knight of Swords. They feel like it's something that it feels like you're saying something that is your truth. And you're doing this fearlessly, okay? Um, your significant other feels like you are leaving for a lot of you suddenly because it's the tower and you're actually pointed in the opposite direction. Like it's a sudden ending, sudden breakup. Like uh, your significant other feels like they are finding out something uh, very sudden like something very shocking about you with the tower this can be infidelity with the tower this can be uh you're moving 
okay? So you guys feel like you are moving, but it's sudden, like you're getting kicked out. This is not planned. This is happening right now. Right now. The tower is now. But your truth, your significant other feels like, yes, you're telling the truth. Yes, you're being fearless. That you don't want to invest anymore. But that it, it hurts them. Three of swords could be a Libra or Capricorn. They're very jealous about this. And they're upset about the money. <clears throat> In the relationship, like... That you're not giving them any more money. Okay. Yeah. Your significant other also feels like there's no romance because um, someone was looking for a mother figure, so the intimacy died. <clears throat> but your truth with the Knight of Swords, um, you no longer want to invest, right? Um, it looks like you guys both mutually agree in the relationship to de-invest. There could be financial issues as well, bankruptcy, potentially. Someone's suddenly leaving in the relationship. How does Taurus view their significant other? Okay. You view them as the... <clears throat> wow. Pisces, Page of Cups, in reverse, Ten of Swords. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. Well, why did I say that? Gemini and Mercury. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophelius, Pisces, Sagittarius. All right. If you used to be other someone who has erectile dysfunction or they are looking at things from like a different perspective and they're not moving at all. If you used to be other someone who's just they're not moving, there's no sexual interest, there's no movement with the, the hangman. If you're sitting at other as someone who is sacrificing themselves. If you used to together as someone who is taking back a proposal, like if they propose to you, they're not taking back the ring. If you used to together as someone who is emotionally immature, not listening to the intuition, they have blocked creativity and blocked intuition. If you used to together other as someone who with the page of cups in reverse, emotionally manipulative, promiscuous. Okay, if you used to together as someone who they're if you used to together as someone's act that their actions have an, a negative impact on the children okay that will lead the children to potentially be promiscuous or um not be open to their emotions based off of the relationship and dynamic they saw between you two okay you, you believe that their actions have a negative impact on the child especially if it's a girl okay <clears throat> You view your significant other as someone who apologizes to you, but they don't mean it. And with the Ten of Swords, um, this is like, whew, very messy breakup. You view your significant other as someone where ugh, it's a very messy breakup. It's very public. It, there's been major betrayals. It's like it's already over for some of you. Like you may be in it, but it's not emotionally fulfilling in the relationship. And someone else is blatantly looking at a, another option. I do see that. Yes, because they find you could be leaving behind a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces. You feel like something was not a victory. You're heading in another direction. And taking your finances with you. Okay. How did you just think to view you? Let's look at that. How did you just think to other view you? Okay. As the sun. Okay. And the seven of pentacles, Taurus and Saturn. You're taking your money back. Your significant other views you as someone who's no longer investing. Okay, like your, like your significant other views you as someone who 
there's been a lot of investments made in the relationship, but there's no success. And so you're taking back your money. Seven of Pentacles. You dug your coins. You could have took it back from a Taurus or a Capricorn. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah. I do see that. Strong Capricorn, Libra, Aries, Scorpio. Yes. That was the right thing to do. You got that from a higher power. For some of you, you've heard that from some form of a father figure, rather that was spiritual or a priest, a bishop, or you could have heard it from a shaman. It was the right thing to do for your joy, the sun. Uh, your significant other views you as someone who is... Um, The sun that you're going on vacation. For some of you, they view you as someone who maybe lives in a hot climate or with the sun, like they have children with you. There's another guy that views you as someone who loves their job and works in the entertainment industry. And they view you as someone that they see is um, falling in love with them again. That's how they view you. Okay. There's also a feeling of like, it could be like they view you as someone that, with the sun, they could view you as someone that they're, that they view you as someone who they view you as the sun. So your significant other could be falling in love with you all over again, although you, Taurus, could be falling in love with somebody else, or you could have de-invested from the relationship. Your significant other also views you as someone who's heading towards the sun. That you're maybe connecting to someone. Children here. Either you have children with the person or you, you've known them since childhood. Or you could be going on vacation for a lot of you. The sun. Yeah. Hmm. What is towards hiding from your significant other? Um, your significant other also gives you a son who maybe you have a son with. Children with. What is Taurus hiding? What is Taurus hiding? Taurus hiding from their significant other. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Infidelity. Yeah, not telling the truth that you're not happy. You've been pretending to be happy. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh, child, that's not good. Okay, yeah, the Taurus, what you're hiding, you're willing to harm your partner. You're hiding that you're cheating. You're hiding that you're cheating. Why do I say that? Because it's right here in the cards. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra, which is the dual loyalty between two women. The Queen of Wands, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesus. Someone you're very attracted to that you absolutely adore and is adored by those around them. And with the King of Cups in reverse, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ephesus, that's the infidelity. With the Nine of Cups, Pisces, and Jupiter, um, because you were depressed and unfulfilled with the Queen of Swords in reverse, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or an absentee mother. Right, you could have had an absentee mother, which led to you being emotionally unavailable, which led to you not being able to feel fulfilled within self or express emotion to someone that you absolutely adore because you had blocked heart chakra feeling. Wow, that's interesting. Feeling loyal to a high vibration of feminine energy and loyal to the vibration maybe you saw growing up that was not actually healthy right like can i allow in healthy vibration if what i saw led to me being like this and it led to me being in connections and relationships where i'm emotionally unavailable or i'm unhappy but i'm in it Do you get what i'm saying for a lot of you um yeah the <laughs> Taurus, which are hiding from your significant other. You can't have children, queen of swords in reverse. Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You haven't told that truth. Ace of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That you are pretending to be happy in the relationship. Pisces and Mars. Ten of cups in reverse. 
You're hiding the fact that there's child abuse, child neglect, mental illness, queen of swords in reverse, lying, looking through this person's stuff. Like you're looking through your significant other's clothes and their technology and whatever you can get your hands on with the queen of swords in reverse. And this man is leaving. Whenever the queen of swords is in reverse, it indicates a woman who is in a relationship where the man is leaving. And in the process of him leaving, he ends up getting hurt somehow by the woman that he is leaving. Typically, it's physical. With the Queen of Swords, it's physical, also verbal. Okay, she could take it to the extremes of murder. She could take it to the extremes of just being vocally abusive, verbally abusive, right? That's not necessary with the Queen of Swords in reverse, but that's what she does. It's not logical. Examples of times where I've had her come up in reverse, um, intro and then in the real world you know like it's displayed what the queen of swords is like um there was a man and a woman and he was he broke up with the woman said i'm moving to dc this is over i'm i'm just gonna go my own way she went and stalked him for two weeks found where he lived shot him to death and when they found her she said he made me do it in her head, him leaving led to her doing that. No. Him choosing himself should have never led to him getting killed. It was her responsibility, her responsibility to heal, not harm, due to someone finding what made them happy in their own life and it not being her. Um, another time was that she came up in reverse. Um, a woman found out her husband was cheating on her and she chopped him up alive. She chopped him up while he was alive. That was another time. She, she's not very logical, she can key your car. She really doesn't like to, it's not really the, the, the stuff you have, it's really the person she wants to harm. Cause she doesn't like the fact that they're leaving. There could be a lot of drinking. I see a lot of drinking, at least nine cups or more. 10 cups, cause he has the 10th cup, 10 cups. You could have an addiction, that's what you're hiding. You're upset you can't travel right now, Knight of Wands in reverse. You talk really badly about your partner, Queen of Swords in reverse. Like you talk really badly about your your partner, who's the King of Cups in reverse. Um, Queen of Swords, you can work with technology, the law, teaching, counseling, um, Aquarius, astrology, Queen of Swords in reverse can work with um, doctor, nurse, okay? But she's usually the, the woman who's being left from a relationship. Like, she's in a relationship with someone, but that man is leaving for whatever reason is best for him. And it doesn't have to be for a person. But in this situation, it is. There's another person involved, a Queen of Wands. And with the communication, it's been little to none because someone doesn't want any arguments, doesn't want any difficulties, doesn't want any drama, doesn't want to make a decision between two. The Queen of Wands is in her highest vibration. This is a woman who could be, you know, a tarot card reader, psychic, medium, seer, the dancer, actor, rapper, singer, um, philosophy, psychology, spirituality. She's in the spotlight. You can't miss her party doesn't start until this woman walks in she's dynamic she's adored you adore this woman you adore this woman that is what you're hiding that was the queen of wands is also spicy caliente the business owner the witch very witchy okay i mean healthy too she's in the upright so this woman is very positive before i ask the next question hold on Okay, what is Taurus's significant other hiding from Taurus? All right, what is Taurus's significant other hiding from Taurus? Ooh, that was steamy. I feel like blushing. Or you could be blushing, Taurus. It's like spicy, caliente. All right. Um, 
Yeah, so Taurus, you could be hiding the fact that there is the Queen of Wands. Maybe that's an athlete that could be just someone who's in the spotlight. They're very well known. Um, she won't be in a third party because of the fact that she has to be adored by her by the person that she's romantically interested in. And she can't be adored if he's interested in someone else because he won't be able to give her the same amount of attention. Does that make sense? So that's why she won't be in a third party. But you're romantically interested in someone else or you're, you've cheated with someone else or something like that. All right, let's look. What is Taurus's significant other hiding from Taurus? What is significant other? What is Taurus's significant other hiding? Oh, wow. Okay. What is Taurus significant other hiding from Taurus? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Your significant other is hiding infidelity with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, they're not fertile. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Not financially stable. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. Okay, wow. Your significant other is hiding the fact that Gemini and Jupiter with the Eight of Swords in reverse. They see clearly now. They no longer are illusioned by what they thought this relationship was or who they thought you were. Your significant other is hiding the fact that they're not faithful with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. They're hiding the fact that they're not healthy or not fertile. Um... Person could work in the military. I mean, like military, where they work with money. Like this person works with money. They may do. Um, you know, pentacles are much. Your significant others hiding the fact that they can be financially abusive, or um, they're in the relationship only for money. That's what your significant other is hiding from you. They're only in the relationship for money. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a gold digger. She's stingy. She won't offer anything. She wants you to pay for everything. She's not the type of person to want to pay for her own stuff, even though that's what you're supposed to do as an adult. It's no one else's responsibility to pay for certain things. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just never got this height in the fact that they're going to be leaving. Eight of Cups. They're not emotionally fulfilled. They're, they don't want to pretend that they're happy in a connection or relationship anymore. You don't. Um, your significant other is hiding the moon. You're following your heart. They left behind a queen of pentacles in reverse. This can even be um, an ex-girlfriend, ex-wife that um, like You feel like you've become that. That's interesting. This is you with the earth energy. You don't like. They're leaving. You're sniffing the other time. In fact, they're jealous. It feels like you you believe like well that would make sense. You would have felt like this was coming on for a long time. Then this isn't something sudden. This has been going on for a long time. It's happening in the next eight days. Yeah, this is interesting. Your significant other is hiding the fact with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is like infidelity or being overweight. So you may not be um, as attracted. You, that's why you may be leaving. Many of you are leaving behind a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Pisces. And that could be in their Venus, or Taurus could be in their Saturn, their Neptune, their Jupiter, their Venus, their Mercury. Your Saturn, your Jupiter, Mercury, or Venus. All right, let's look. Blockages in your relationship. Okay, for Tauruses, that husband's wife, his girlfriend's wives, and fiancés. Okay, right. future. Taurus is that husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, swimmers, and fiancés. Yeah, a lot of cards. 
yeah you have never satisfied there you have a hard time keeping them are you satisfied it's like no matter what you do as long as we never satisfied they can't control themselves someone may have a drinking problem or um you have unrequited interest so you guys are not really as interested in each other as you used to be so sort of unrequited Because you may also be interested in other people outside of your relationship and feeling like you can't really pursue that because of the relationship that you're publicly in or the relationship that you're in. Uh, you have, they were surrounded by bad influences. And then you have date from hell. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. No matter what you guys do when you like go out, try to date night, try to you know spice things up in the bed or just spice things up by going out together. It always ends up being really bad like um yelling attitude it's uncomfortable it's like why didn't you even come out um um so for some of you ungrateful this could also be aries scorpio energy it's um It's like, never satisfied no matter what you do. No matter what you do. Blockages, yeah, magician is in reverse. The blockages is also like, uh, you guys are gonna not wanna be seen together anymore. Like, not publicly, you don't wanna be seen with this person in public. With, in public. Um, blockage is also manipulation. There's another man involved in your relationship magician looks out for himself you can also be looking out for yourself towards if you have these placements you can be looking out for yourself there's a masculine energy um yeah there's another woman involved queen of wands that's the blockage some of you also need to be more confident okay if you're a feminine energy, you need to be more confident but um you have the world as the hidden energy. So blockages is also someone doesn't want to get marriage counseling. So it's like, I don't want to do that. They don't want to do marriage counseling. Okay. Um, a blockage is also someone's come back onto social media. The world. Um, someone. <sighs> long distance. Like, well, the world closing. Closing. Closing of a 30-year cycle in the relationship. Blockages in the relationship would also um, be... Queen of Wands. For a lot of you, it's another woman. Queen of Wands. That's a blockage. It's a blockage because... Masculine energy has manipulated the Queen of Wands with the Magician in reverse. Blockage is that you're being manipulated, Taurus. The blockage is also you need to be more confident in yourself. The blockage is also that someone is romantically interested in another person. They've been juggling. They're interested in someone else with the Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, the Three of Swords just popped out. Ten of Wands, Sun, King of Cups, and Fidelity. See that clearly with the Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini and Jupiter. You can't act like you don't see that. King of Cups in reverse, Sun in reverse, Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. Yeah, so um, blockage is infidelity. Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius. Um, there's been a lot of setbacks in the relationship, so that's really hard to be optimistic in the relationship. There's also been um, addiction. Uh, worst come to worst, King Cups in reverse can be rape. It could be someone who is sexually abusive, emotionally abusive, gives emotion and takes it back. Someone who's emotionally imbalanced, just all over the place emotionally. Um, Three of Swords, it's third party um, or cheating. That's a blockage. Uh, yeah. Antenna wands, a lot of, it's heavy. It's just heavy. 
You also have a lot of like responsibilities and obligations. Having to move, so on that's something you're moving. Okay. What is Taurus's next action, please? All right, you're you're about to move. I see the hangman. What is Taurus's next actions? You're about to move. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Many of you are about to go. Your next actions is the Two of Cups reverse. Many of you are about to go through a breakup, and you're. Yeah, that's interesting. This is like not being compatible. I see you blocking. Being very defensive if you're in a relationship. Because you don't feel like you're compatible with who you're in a relationship with. You don't feel like you're compatible with them. It's a lot of arguing as well. A lot of arguing between you two. Um, I see you ejaculating with the hangman. In reverse, the Ace of Wands. And some of you are also getting a new job. Your next actions is also taking action to um, get yourself out of the situation. You have to give bad news to your significant other. Um, for many of you, it's, you know, a breakup and you're lying to them about why you want to break up in order for you to go after somebody new or someone else that you're romantically interested in, maybe even... Huh. Your next actions is also Page of Wands. It's yeah, you're giving some type of bad news to whoever you're in a relationship with. All right. Okay. What is your significant other's next actions for us? What is your significant other's next actions for us? The Four of Swords in reverse. Let's just think about these next actions. Yeah, the Three of Cups in reverse, Three of Swords. For some of you, you're sending out these next actions is cheating or coming back onto social media. The Three of Cups in reverse, they're cutting out friends, colleagues, schoolmates, siblings. Um, they're canceling a reunion and get together with you. Okay, they don't want to go to couples counseling. They don't want to try to heal this because they feel like with the Three of Swords, um, it's heartbreaking and there's been cheating or third party. Your significant other could be cheating as well. That could be their next actions. But for a lot of you, there's some type of realization that something's already over because with the Three of Swords here, that shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Another sword. I mean, why should swords even be in a heart? It's symbolizing that um, there was some form of infidelity. Yeah, there was definitely some form of infidelity. That's a lot of cards. All right. What's the future of your relationship with Taurus? Does that have husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, and fiancés? Oh, my goodness. Queen of Swords is in reverse. The moon. You need to be aware. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Why do I say? People ask me, why do I give re really realistic tarot readings? You know, like I mentioned how extreme the Queen of Swords can be. It's because every single time she flips out in reverse. And I'm just like, okay, I don't have to take it that extreme, whatever. I'll end up just chilling and I'll find out about a man who, whether he deserved it or not, being killed because he wants to leave a relationship. Or because a woman that he's, you know, in a relationship with feels that she wants to take it into her hands to take his life before she walks away from this relationship. Why not say something if I can't? It might help somebody. It may save someone's life. Because I'd be feeling guilty. I'd be feeling like I could have done more. I could have said more. And no, they don't watch too well, but somebody out there might. And this could be, you know, someone's brother. This could be someone's nephew. This could be someone's friend. You know, saying, you know what, I've been dating someone who is just not treating me right they're very abusive with the queen of swords in reverse they you know make threats to you know truly harm you and you may have been unsure should you take it serious or not you need to be aware that this is something to take serious
Because I don't feel anyone should ever end up being harmed because they want to choose love. And it may not be with a particular person. That's not love. Control is not love. Love is freedom. Love is free will. That's love. Someone choosing to be with you because they want to. Oh my God, you know how beautiful that is? Why would you want somebody to be around you that doesn't want to actually be around you, right? Uh, the Queen of Swords always puts out in reverse for me when a woman is being left in a relationship, like right? the masculine energy is leaving her, breaking up with her, and she takes it to extremes of wanting to harm him, essentially, before he leaves, or, you know, not wanting him to leave to the point where she may even take his life. The Queen of Swords in reverse really does not care. She has a... Um, it can get bad. It's not logical. This is someone who like plans it all out, you know, with the Queen of Swords and then executes seven swords is in reverse, moon in Aquarius. It's being exposed to you spiritually, maybe by a psychic. Okay. Moon. You don't see this. You don't see this at all. The future of your relationship is there's a lot hidden. With the moon, there's a secret love involved here. Emotionally, there is no... Someone is feeling a lot of emotion, but there is no logic behind it. And they're coming clean about lying, cheating, stealing. Or they're coming clean about... Um, they're getting caught. They either get caught or they just come clean. The future of your relationship is also someone's looking through all of your stuff. Or catfishing. I'm stalking. Okay? Your significant other, like the future of your relationship is there's stalking and a lack of boundaries in the relationship. There's no reason to be looking through all of the stuff, you know, between. There's no reason to do that. If you trust who you're with, there should be no reason for you to be looking through all of their stuff. Also, many of you, this is a short term relationship and that's why it comes to an end. Also, the future of your relationship is with the Queen of Swords in reverse talking really badly about your partner for whatever reason that may be for you. Also, not being able to have children with the Queen of Swords in reverse, that's something you've kept hidden that's now being exposed. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, that's not, for, there's no fertility. Advice, let's get your advice. This is also an absentee mother, okay? Hidden energy is magic, alchemy. 43, breaking down to seven. Many of you um actually heading into a long distance relationship. Um, you may also with the number seven um be spending I feel like you're purposely allowing many things to get in the way between this relationship. You have cave protection, the number 17. Um, it's been a very tumultuous time in the relationship as well. Trying to heal from the infidelity. Feeling taken for granted and having to look at the wisdom of the pain that you've experienced in this connection, this relationship, sort of feeling like it keeps happening over and over and over again. Hmm. Also feeling like um, if you feel taken for granted, if you feel like you're not being appreciated or you're always having to be the more emotionally mature person in the connection and relationship. Um, it's making you also feel like you want to spend less time with your partner or your significant other. Oh. Okay. Advice. Advice is love yourself. Okay. Take good care of yourself as well. Advice. Hey man, there's um, erectile dysfunction here. You may need to start drinking more water. You're looking at other love options, two of wands, Aries, Scorpio. Some of you, yeah. Yes. You're leaving behind a Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. Yeah. Also, some of you met someone at work or at school. But um, 
the hangman. Your advice is to look at what is this teaching you. Take a second to look at this from a more enlightened point of view. Take a second. What is love? Do you love yourself? Because if you love yourself, then you'll be choosing a relationship and a connection that does feed into you love. Right? Not um putting you into a position where you feel you're continuously experiencing pain. I feel like it's also very publicly humiliating. Many of you are actually looking at other love options on other platforms. You can also be relocating. You could be moving or someone else is relocating or moving closer to you. That can also be happening here. You're making a decision. Make a decision is what your advice is. Make a decision towards Aries Scorpio of what you really want to invest in for the next, because whatever you're about to invest in financially will prosper for the next. Um, I feel like you make this in the next day. You make this offer in the next day or... You may be spending time on yourself. You could spend time on yourself. Doing something you really love. Like in your career. Doing self-care as well. Prosperity. Make a good decision here for you. Okay. It's your responsibility to look out for you. So what, what works for you, Taurus? Use your free will, your discernment, and do what is best for you at the end of the day. That's your advice. Love yourself, because, baby, there's a lot to love about you, Taurus. Okay? Always remember that. Forgive yourself. Okay? Forgive the universe. Okay. I like you. I like Make a decision is your advice, okay? Many of you are dealing with multiple women um, or cheating or someone's cheating in the relationship or the connection. If you feel like you're never satisfied with someone, it's time for you to take accountability that if you really want to be satisfied, it's time for you to get out of a situation where you're not satisfied to make energetic space for you to welcome in a relationship where you will be satisfied. And hold up, make sure you're able to satisfy yourself. Ain't no man or woman gonna be able to satisfy you know, it, there's no man or woman whose job it is to satisfy you all the time. You gotta be able to satisfy yourself as well as an individual. Make sure you know what that is and what that even feels like. If you don't know how to do it to yourself, you won't be able to do it for another person. You won't. You won't be able to identify when it's being done for you, you know, um, and vice versa. So this is me reading all the Voodoo products and I don't know, finances, finances. You could work in foreign exchange, trade money, stocks, something like that, crypto, something like that, banks, currency. Um, that's your advice. All the voodoo products and services are provided in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Ah, shit. Some of your advice is to travel. He has the world in his lap. So travel. Maybe it's time to invest somewhere else. You have your shovel like you ready to go. Then you have the Queen of Wands right behind it with her counterpart, the King of Wands. Okay? Which would symbolize um, being able to be confident in yourself, attract in. Um, and this is about you wanting to maintain your relationship, be more confident as individuals. Um, and, you know, uh, no matter how much other people may be interested in you, may fit into the relationship. If you don't want to be in the relationship anymore, um, your advice is break away from the relationship, which many of you are doing. And many of you are actually moving to a counterpart. So either way, it does work out for you here. I do see that. Congratulations. Ashe.
for Tauruses. Let's see what you bitch. Yeah, rejecting love offers because I want you. I want your love. All right. So sending cute emojis. Right? So you're rejecting love offers because you want someone and vice versa. It's going both ways. Future of your love. Freaking out. Whoa. Worrying with regret. Okay. And you have standing in your power. All right. Looks like who's coming towards you, Taurus. Okay. Okay. The future, the chariot. person that's coming towards you is um, at a distance from you. They're very, um, you have temperance, Sagittarius, Pisces, Chariot, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, bottom of the deck, Sun, Leo. They're in a hot climate. There's travel involved, like major travel. And relocation, someone's actually thinking of relocating. Okay, um, they're wanting to see what it's like and see the surroundings and do activities, stuff like that, to see what they really like to live there. Um, for many of you, it's the woman doing this, but also see um, both the man and the woman are both traveling. Okay, that's cool. Um, the future of your love life, of who's coming towards you, is someone who knows how to have a relationship. They believe in relationships. They learn how to love themselves more by being, um, by loving you and vice versa. I really want some boba right now, but they don't open until it is, what time is it? Hold on. It's 6.11 a.m. Pacific time, January 19, 2022, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. They don't open up until another like two, three hours. I want some boba. Um, the person who's coming towards you is famous. Thank you so much for your kind comments, likes, subscriptions, donations, readings, bookings, DMs, messages, reviews, and referrals. Um, they're very optimistic, very positive. They shine very brightly. Very optimistic person. Um, they're younger than you. She looks younger than you because you have a mustache here with the chariot. The person that's coming towards you has, is having a rags to riches story. They have a lot of emotional maturity and discipline with the chariot and they um, are single. They are single. This is the emperor. This could be an Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or any sign. Um, but this is someone who is in the driver's seat. They know where they're going. They're very patient. Like this person never raises their voice at you. They never are mean. They're very patient with you. It's very attractive that they're patient with you and that they do take control as the masculine energy they allow you to shine brightly they treat you the right way the person who's coming towards you is someone who wants to treat you the right way because that's exactly what you deserve they may have also gotten divorced as well they're also receiving good financial news um they're also sending a message or you're sending a message They're very attractive with the sun here. Okay. So let's look at how you be seen by others in your love life. How you be seen by others in your love life. If someone's very um, beautiful and receptive for many of you. All right, how will you be seen in your love life by others? Okay. All right. Hmm. Wow. Okay. You'll be seen as someone who is meeting someone that you knew from school or from work. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, Son of Virgo, that you've been putting a lot of hard work into yourself. 
right? Maybe you started a new vitamin routine. You've been going to the gym. I'm seeing you've been working out, really taking care of your body, right? That's going to be really, really highlighted for you during this time about your health, Taurus. Uh, the better that you feel internally, um, the more that you're going to be able to increase your abundance in the physical reality. This is how wands you're looking, Sagittarius and Saturn. Like, you have been through a lot, okay? Like, you were very burdened. You could have, many of you moved away from a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, or a Pisces to a new opportunity. You are relocating. You're going to be seen by people like, I'm seeing the airport. You're going to be seen as people, seen by people as someone who's like relocating, maybe you're moving. Um, there's a new opportunity for you, but it's in another place, okay, another state, that there's some type of 10-week cycle that has ended for you. Whatever went on for you for the last 10 weeks is done, okay, because something new is here for you. And this is something solid, very, very solid. It's time, okay, it's also a message, some type of message you're sending, yeah. You put a lot of hard work into yourself. That's how you're going to be seen in your love life. Like maybe you even became someone who works. You know, you've been focusing on work, focusing on working on yourself, loving yourself. Okay. Or that you're meeting someone from college or from school or um, from work. Okay. Yeah. They could be from another state, another country. Virgo energy is at the bottom of the deck. They could be um, a teacher, a counselor, a friend that develops into a relationship, into a lover. Vocal exchange of emotions. Sun and Aries can't be scorpio at a long distance. It's a long distance relationship. Yeah, it's coming into fruition. This is someone who doesn't mind spending time alone with the hermit. They only want to end like a truly like real connection and relationship with intellectual, spiritual, um, deep purposes. This could also be a witch for some of you. Um, you'll be seen by others as someone who's okay with being alone, but that's why love is coming towards you. It's interesting. Plus, you learned um, how to develop yourself completely as a as a adult. Okay, how you be feeling about your love life? Single Tauruses. Oh. You'll be seen by others. Um, in your love life, Taurus, as someone who literally got rid of a Queen of Swords in reverse, a Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You got rid of it. You may have lost money to this person. Ace of Pentacles or reverse. And it was so heavy. It was just, it would collapse. So you see this man, it's like a collapse. Um, you stop putting work into it. Because there's something brand new for you. It could be a fire sign. And now you're single. And you're happy. You're traveling. You look young. And you're moving in with someone. Or this could be a hotel with the four of wands. Venus and Aries can't be Scorpio. It does lead into a relationship. You're going to have a lot of fun. I'm seeing you do a lot of activities and you're not going to look the same. You evolve. The way you get seen is you get seen as the magician. Ace of Wands, something brand new is rewarded to you by the universe. You're excited about it. You get to travel. You get to, um, you know, have fun. It's a family friend. Ten of Pentacles. It was right behind it. Virgo and Mercury. It's a family friend. Someone that your family knows and they know your family. It's also, um, you'll be seen as someone who is marrying into wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. Or you're getting into a relationship and that person just so happens to be wealthy. Okay? Or they own a business that is extremely profitable that will feed their children's children. Um, the Ten of Pentacles... You're going to be seen by others as someone who's getting into a connection or a commitment that uh, will last for a very long time. Congratulations with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Taurus. Many of you are seen in your love life as someone who's infertile, 
uh, maybe mentally unstable or losing their reputation that you lied. Okay, there's something about lying. That Queen of Swords. That you may um, be willing in your love life. You're gonna be seen by others as someone who's willing to harm. Um, potentially, like if someone wants to leave you, you would harm them, and that's not necessary. Everybody should be allowed to go to whoever, whatever it is that makes them happy, and you move on in your own life. It just if it just so happens that you are not that person, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, with the Queen of Swords, you're gonna be seen as someone who's very bitter. Um, that you're talking very badly. About, I'm seeing because the Ten of Wands, there's someone who walked away from you. Someone's leaving you. And you're not happy about it. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're not happy about it. Um, that you're lying or a bit, because there's something about... With the Ten of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles, you look like you got dropped. So someone could have broke up with you or like, um, you could, in your love life, you could be seen as someone who let go of a lot of baggage, right? If you had a lot of baggage from your past, past beliefs that, you know, you put a lot of hard work into that you let those go because it was, you know, you were blind and missing opportunities. That's how you're seen in your love life. Why? Because of the Six of Cups, you're reuniting with someone from your past. It's a Cancer, Aries, Scorpio who has left behind a queen of pentacles in reverse. So they could have Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in their Venus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Pisces in their Venus, or flip it. Taurus would be in, in the planets I just, you get what I'm saying, right? It, you know what I'm saying, just flip it. Flip it. Flip it now, flip it, reverse it, right? Um, so yeah, Taurus would be in the Mercury or the Venus or the Uranus, um, or the Saturn, the Jupiter, the Neptune, the Venus, the Mercury, the Neptune. Yeah. Okay. You'll be seen like this because somebody, for some of you, someone's, if you have those placements, someone, the man left you. So you could have tried to harm this person. The Queen of Swords in the verse. If you're a man, you're gonna be seen as someone who got away with got away from someone who was willing to harm you um, before you would leave a relationship or something of that nature. Okay. Um, you may have put a restraining order on someone or blocked someone or really cut ties with someone for good in order for you to have a new connection relationship with someone you knew from elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. Sun is Scorpio, can be Aries. So it's like um, this person can also be at a distance, long distance from you. It's a long distance relationship. Vocal exchanges of emotion is occurring. The Emperor, you're going to be seen as someone who's. Um, see, this is resonating two different ways. Many of you, if you have those placements I listed with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, or Aries you're upset because this man left you to go towards his past you're upset something about you being very upset if you're a man you're known as an emperor a grown man who made the right decision to go back to his past that's how you're being um, that's how you're going to actually feel about your love life that you made the right decision for yourself but that's also how you're being seen okay as the emperor as you did make the right decision for you, um, that you left behind someone who was using you for your money, right? They wanted you to pay for everything. If you are a man, the woman wanted you to pay for everything, right? She didn't think that she should pay for absolutely anything, which is just, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. If you're in a, if you are trying to be in a connection relationship, you have to work as a team, you know? So, um, like my money, your money, your money's my money. Work together on that. But um, you'll be feeling like that because you'll be traveling to someone that is like a past life soulmate. It's a grown man, though. Yeah, it's a grown man. That's why you'll be feeling like that. Wow. Yeah. 
But see, there's another person. You're right there. <laughs> she's little, but she's right there. So you're reuniting with someone, but you've known them for a long time. It's read a couple of different ways, but you do feel like you're making the right decision because you are making the right decision. Congratulations. Okay, let's look at the block in this. And you can't help, if you are bitter, upset, you can't help who people love. You can't help that. It's not your job. People are going to love who they love, just don't have an expectation. And they won't be disappointed. That's what I've been practicing, and it's very soothing. Very freeing, actually. It is. Because it means that anything can happen, and that's actually quite exhilarating and freeing, so that there's not a feeling of, oh, if I do this, then this might end up happening. If I do that, then that might end up happening. It's more so just do what you feel is right for you in that moment. And everything will work out the way it's supposed to, you know? I like that. What are the blockages? Okay. King of Swords. Okay. What are the blockages? Ooh. Well, yeah, that's a blockage. Goodness gracious. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. I'll show you in a second. You went through a messy breakup, like, it really, really, yeah, someone did something towards you out of revenge. It was a Taurus, Libra, and Aquarius. Someone else had that, or I said that someone was about to do something out of revenge. King of Swords, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Gemini. Ten of Swords, Gemini, and Mercury. Alien, the Hermit, Virgo, and the Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius. Hidden energy, Cancer, and Mercury. But I love how I'm seeing Emperor. I love it. I love it. Okay. Blockage. You've been very logical. You've been really hurt. You know, um, you are the man with the plan with the King of Swords. But you have probably been looking at love with a more logical standpoint. And... You've been you've been listening to your ancestors because you have the monkey right there. So thank you so much for your kind comments, text, descriptions, donations, readings, bookings, DMs, messages, and these referrals. With the King of Swords, though, um, you've been very like cold and detached regarding love, right? But you have been listening to your ancestors. You've been willing to learn, and you're a genius, highly intelligent with the King of Swords, and he's been through a lot. And I think that that needs to be given compassion. Not oh, it needs to be given compassion, but no, it just needs to be given compassion and empathy and kindness. With the Ten of Swords, Gemini, and Mercury, that's a very horrible betrayal. That's a blockage, a messy breakup, very public breakup. That has made uh, you feel very cold, right? This this experience. The betrayals you've gone through, right? And this could have been from the last 10 months or so. It just has really hurt for you. It has really hurt for you. With the hermit, the number nine, the blockage is this has made you someone Virgo who's willing to, is Virgo energy, who's, who's wanting to be alone instead of feel. Right? Yeah. It's being willing to look at those experiences as something to develop a new belief system from. That's the whole point of it. You want deeply spiritual, intellectual connections and relationships with the hermit. Okay? With that coming up, that's actually what you're seeking, whether you may be aware of it or not. You may also be connected to a teacher or counselor that helps you connect better to yourself with the book, the knowledge, the blockage, the five of swords. You're trying to be okay with the king of swords. Because you went through a messy breakup where someone did something out of revenge that just devastated you. But you're the king of swords, right? 
you're the king of swords. So with the three of cups, a relationship does become more official for you. Someone that you are romantically interested in, it does advance. You come out as the emperor, okay? Um, it raises to another evolution of you're no longer going to be a king anymore. Because spirit is giving you what you actually do deserve. They're giving you a real connection, a real relationship after a period where you thought all, you know, connections and relationships end with you being hurt. No. The blockage is being willing to commit after being hurt, right? Um, that it's taken me time alone to heal this because that doesn't feel good to get back out and date right knight of cups aquarius cancer pisces scorpio aries sagittarius so there is a feeling also of you needing to be willing to express your love you know, rather than being so logical. And give yourself some compassion, some forgiveness. You are a genius. But even the smartest of us sometimes, you know, in our lives, when it comes to our experiences, we get hurt in love because love means that, yes, you can love someone so much. You may put yourself at risk to get hurt by losing them. That comes with the territory of love. But not everybody's like that, okay? Not everybody is out to do that to you. You're a brilliant, brilliant man, okay? For many of you, if you're a masculine energy. Okay. Okay. What can the single Tauruses do to make their love life? I like, I like. You have the chariot coming out a lot, but you're heading right into the Ten of Cups. The happily ever after. That's what I just said. Um, you get what you want. You don't even get the Ten of Cups. You get the Twelve of Cups, which means it's your lover and your best friend. Venus and Cancer can be Leo. Some wall that was blocking you from a healing relationship, from relationships where there's real romance and connection and we're compatible. We do things together that we truly enjoy and we have fun. Right? And it's everything that you ever wanted. It's your happily ever after, whether you're a man or a woman. Man or a woman, you get that. It is long distance, but I see it closing. Many of you, there's even relocation involved. Someone's thinking of buying a home or something like that, maybe moving closer. It's everything that you've ever wanted. You get it. There's a lot of FaceTiming, a lot of text messaging, messages going back and forth at a distance. And then there's a lot of travel. <sighs> la, 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 travel. What you can do is communicate. What's hidden in your love life? Let's see, what's hidden in your life? What you can do is communicate, travel, be emotionally mature and disciplined if you're the masculine energy with the chariot. Um, Honestly, you've been popping up that way this entire time in your reading. You could be a Cancer, Aries, or Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo. You could be any sign with the Emperor being in the driver's seat. You could drive for a living for some of you. You listen to me while you drive. That's pretty cool. Um, but with the Chariot, you're going in the right direction. You chose yourself. You are single, but you're wanting commitment, relationships. So allow yourself to express that. I feel like you're already, yeah. Jeez, you chuck that out. You don't have any more baggage. And the Empress, you're going towards your counterpart. Who just happens to be maybe uh, long distance. Sun and Aries can be Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. She could be any sign. Um, twins could be significant here. The Empress is either the mother of your children already, if you have children. Or she will be the mother of your children one day. You would know who this woman is in your heart and in your soul. With the emperor popping up earlier, that could have been the father of your children, or one day will be the father of your children, okay? Um, but yeah, that's beautiful. What's in it from you in your love life is you are, if you're 
oh you are <laughs> that makes sense you're single Taurus man or masculine energy the universe has gifted you a drop dead gorgeous woman that will love you unconditionally her love will extend your lifespan so what does that mean when you when she walks into the home or the house you will not feel a dread of, oh my god my partner so This woman, her love makes you feel like you have another life. Makes you feel like you have another chance to live again. Like you can be whoever you wanna be. That love is free. That love is you being free to be who you are. It's free of judgment, it's patient, it's kind. It's unconditional. This is a woman who will love you through thick and thin. A woman who values herself. What's in it for me is you're receiving a woman who will love you for you. Congratulations. And if you're a feminine energy, which is hidden from you in your love life, is you're receiving a vocal exchange of emotion from someone um, at a long Distance, you're starting a long distance relationship and you are receptive to that. You could be a CEO, entrepreneur, you could walk from home with the emperor, Empress. Okay, so that's beautiful. Let's look at the future of your love life. All right, future of a single Taurus's love life. Future single choices love life. Mm -hmm. You've been delaying this. Yep, there's the emperor. Your um, your future is as the emperor. You're telling um someone you miss them. You're texting them like I miss you, or you're FaceTime them like I miss you. The emperor is taking control to communicate. Yeah, that you you you're also telling someone that you've been heartbroken before. Okay, that you're single. And here's the Empress, the counterpart. The future. The future for the single Tauruses. Yeah. Yeah. And that it's not over. And there's the King of Swords. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. All right. Two of Pentacles. All right. Ooh. Hidden energy is High Priestess. Okay. So the future of your love life is Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarius, Pisces. Many of you left behind as Sagittarius, Pisces. You're no longer... Um, waiting for situations that are on and off, on and off. It's like you want consistency. You want something that is like there's no more juggling about maybe this, maybe that, maybe this, maybe that, or other responsibilities that get in the way of connection and relationship. That's been dropped. Because that only leads to heartbreak. Three of Swords. That's the hidden egg. You see that clearly with the King of Swords, Capricorn, Aquarius, Super Gemini, the man with the plan. Because of that truth, you speak your truth, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini, to the Empress, Taurus, Libra, who's receptive, and you become the Emperor, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. It's not over with death in reverse, it's someone from your past.
Eight of Wands messages go back and forth. Sagittarius and Mercury have Aries, Scorpio. You left someone out in the cold and old relationship where you were not treated the right way. Someone was playing the blame game. Something legally did not go in your favor. Financially, you were drained. It was financially devastating. Someone could have been unemployed. Gemini and Mercury, Taurus and Mercury. Could have been dealing with a Libra. You were treated unfairly here. Or even ghosted with the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords humiliated publicly in the future but one of the things i'm seeing here is the future of your relationship is you the relationship is with someone you've never been in a relationship with before high priestess is the woman you've never actually been in a relationship with before although you may have been intimate with this person before it is like a reconciliation for you guys um There's also a spiritual connection. This does lead to long-term relationship, though. All because one follows their intuition. You could also be a tarot card reader, psychic medium, or seer, or you could be dealing with one. Many of you will not be um, intimate sexually unless you're in a relationship. That's the high priestess energy. You're highly evolved. I see you getting pregnant as well. Um... For some of you, yes, yes, let's look at your next actions. The high priest is also a woman you believe you cannot have, but you're taking the initiative to, to go towards this woman and it pays off. You get what you want. Um, it, it leads into long-term connection and relationships, so congratulations. Congrats. All right. Let's look at your next actions. You let go, Sun and Capricorn, Four Swords, Jupiter, and Libra. You came back onto social media, and you're the King of Pentacles. Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you're very practical. You want commitment. Your heart is open. Two of Swords is in reverse. You're not worrying about a damn thing. Nine of Swords is in reverse. You're very happy. Nine of Cups in the upright. All right. And you're only going to be giving to one person. The King of Pentacles is someone who will give the shirt off of their back. But um, your next action is actually nurturing a relationship into something more. Nurturing yourself as well. Many of you are being seen by other people. You look healthy. Um, your king minus everything you touch, it will turn into gold. Your next actions is also um, nurturing a relationship with someone. You want a relationship to grow into more. And you're a good man. Everything I've seen, you're a good man through and through. And you've been through some, some bad relationships, unfortunately. Okay? And that's okay. That is okay. It's all about what you learn from it. And he's very wise, very well experienced here. Second like advice for you. Um, your next actions is also um, taking your time um, with courting someone. You're courting someone. You're being very traditional, very gentleman-like. You're in control with the King of Pentacles energy. And they're allowing you to be, okay? Out of core fluidity. They're giving you compassion. The number 12, which breaks down to number three. A lot of humor. There's a lot of communication here. Advice. <laughs> Go with the flow. You have marine life richness, which is the number 32, breaking down to five. This does lead into relationship and commitment. You guys may do the same thing, whether that's um, working in the same constitution, institution, foundation, church service, or maybe if you're a teacher, they're a teacher. If they're a musician, you're a musician. You guys do the same thing, whatever that is. Um, there's a, a sense of gratitude as well. And really allowing things to just go with the flow. If something's meant to be, it'll be. So the advice is um, surrender to what is oh is that what did I just see? Hold on. What the cards are off? What I was like, I just saw a card. I saw a ten of cups was trying to come out. All these cards. 
Hold on, let me make sure they're all flipped the right way. Okay. Your advice is don't settle for less than you deserve. If you want all that you want in a partner, you want the happily ever after, then, you know, be willing to allow that into your life. Focus on yourself. Okay. Yeah, something's not over. Yeah, something's not over. Something from your past, Sun and Scorpio, can't be Aries. Many of you have not been having sex either. Something's not over though. Death is in reverse. Heartbreak through swords, Libra Capricorn. Be willing to feel the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. How you really feel about a heartbreak. In order to transform and allow yourself to emotionally connect to someone that is a, a soulmate um, or someone that is a past life soulmate, someone maybe from elementary school, middle school, high school, college, or someone you knew in a past life. It could be someone brand new. But for many of you, you know this person. You already know this person. Acknowledge how you really feel about what you've experienced. If you want to be able to have a real relationship with somebody. And you have to get over your fear about there always being a third party. Not everybody's trying to cheat on you. Not everybody wants to do that. Be more honest about how you're feeling emotionally. Be more honest about what you want regarding your ten of cups about relationship. To see is this person what you are you really want? Are you guys on the same page? Be be open and be honest. Make your moves, you know, that you feel are best for you to convey how you feel towards someone. This has been your reading. I'm about to go eat some crab, you guys. I am so... It is um, like 7 a.m. or something like that. Yeah, Pacific time. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm going to go shower and eat a lot of seafood. Clams and sausages and corn and all this other stuff. I will see you guys later. Um, just be honest about how you feel. You know? Um, the masculine energy is in charge here. If you're feminine energy, you probably have no idea if someone's even romantically interested in you. They will be pursuing you and making themselves known. Yep. All right. I love it. All right. All the booty parts and service that provide a description box down below next to Butterfly. Thank you so much for being here. Ashe. Damn. <laughs>